Hello and welcome to the Linux Desktop Showdown. Today we're pitting Zorin OS against Pop OS, two popular Linux distributions known for their user-friendly interfaces. If you're a beginner or just looking for a smooth Linux experience, you're in the right place. We'll help you decide which distribution is better for you. Zorin OS provides a versatile interface, offering a Windows-like experience with Zorin Lite and a more traditional Linux-style interface with Zorin Core. It's designed to cater to different user preferences, making it a flexible choice for many. Pop OS brings a unique touch with its GNOME Shell interface. It emphasizes ease of use and customization, making it a user-friendly option for those who enjoy personalizing their system. All right, let's dive into the user experience. We'll take a closer look at navigation, the available applications, and the overall aesthetics of both operating systems. It's all about how these systems feel in everyday use. Zorin OS, especially the light version, is well lightweight and perfect for older hardware. It's designed to give those aging machines a new lease on life. Pop OS, on the other hand, performs impressively across a wide range of hardware configurations. It's got solid resource usage and offers a really responsive experience overall. Now let's dive into the software ecosystems. We'll take a closer look at the available applications and, of course, how compatible they are with these distributions. Zorin OS offers, you know, look and feel customization options, including a variety of themes and layouts to suit your preferences. Pop OS provides advanced customization capabilities like GNOME shell extensions and, well, detailed system settings to give you greater control over your experience. All right, let's dive into some features that might catch the eye of different users. For instance, there's multimedia support, gaming options, and developer tools. These aspects can really shape the experience depending on what you're looking for. So, to wrap things up here, let's take a moment to weigh the key strengths and weaknesses of both Zorin OS and Pop OS. It's important to see where each one shines and, well, where they might fall a bit short. Now, based on individual needs, we'll offer some suggestions on which OS might work better for different use cases. It's all about finding the right fit for what you need, right? At the end of the day, the best way to decide is to try both distributions yourself. Really, the best OS is a matter of personal choice, and only you can determine what works best for you.